One windy night, a young couple sneaks into the North Villa, a huge bungalow in Goa, only to discover that a ghost haunts the house, causing them to flee. Aditya, an engineer working on a cruise line, moves into the villa for a year along with his wife Anjali and his son Banku. The next day he bids them a brief farewell. Some more days later, one night, Banku encounters the ghost whose name is Kelashnath. Little Banku, who is told by his mother that ghosts don't exist but angels do, considers him to be one and also nicknames him Bhutnath. Things become comical when Banku displays no fear of him despite various attempts by Bhutnath to scare him off and drive him out of the house. Instead the latter keeps getting pranked on by the kid and it becomes a playful fight between they. 2. One day, Bhutnath tries to scare Banku again while he is on the edge of the stairs. But it instead results in startling him and causing him to fall down and sustain a head injury. Much to his shock, Anjali rushes him to the hospital and Bhutnath follows. Banku is saved, relieving both. A tearful Bhutnath apologizes to Banku and the two become best friends. Some weeks later, Bhutnath's son Vijaynath returns from the United States to sell off the house. This angers the ghost as he doesn't want his home to be demolished and scares off the buyers. Banku tries to calm him down and requests him to appear before his mother. He does so, and reveals his story. Years ago, Kailash had a happy family with his wife Nirmala, his son Vijay and his grandson Vibhu. Some time later, Vijay moved to the US for higher studies and later settled there. To the dismay of his parents, his mother yearned for him to visit her but he hardly contacted them. Kailash was disappointed when he arrived on the day of Nirmala's funeral and then tried to sell off the house. He turned down the buyers. Angering Vijay's wife, Vijay requested his father to move with them to America, saying that nothing is left for them in the house but Kailash, who was, and still is, emotionally attached to the house, declined the offer. The next day, Vijay left with his family to the airport all the while Kailash desperately trying to convince him not to leave but he didn't listen. While on the way to follow him out of the house, Kailash tripped down the stairs. Even then he ran after Vijay to stop him but he ignored him and left. Devastated, he walked back inside the house to see his own lifeless body lying on the bottom of the stairs. He realizes that he's now a ghost and his son Vijay couldn't see him and hear him. Aditya and Anjali decide to perform Bhutnath's final rites to give him salvation. But Banku is only told that they are celebrating his birthday, as the kid is too young to understand the meaning of the ceremony. Aditya meets Vijay and confronts him. Guilt-ridden. Vijay arrives during the ceremony and apologizes for his mistakes and tells the family that they can live permanently in the house. Bhutnath forgives his son and is freed. Banku, seeing a tearful Bhutnath disappear, is distraught. The next day he is leaving for school, missing the ghost. When the two are happily reunited as Bhutnath appears again, though he requests Banku and the viewer to hide it. Uddharan